Hey friends, it's that time of year again. What are you gonna put in your kids' Easter baskets? Okay, so you could get peeps, jelly beans, all the sugar, or that really annoying grass stuff that gets everywhere. You'll find it like months later when you're vacuuming, your little toddlers will probably try to eat some of it. Like, why do we get that stuff? Like, really, why? Hmm. I have a better idea though. Books. Let's put books in your basket this year because you are creating readers. We know reading is important for our kids, so let's find some you some fun books to have in their baskets this year. Our That's Not My series has three perfect Easter titles, Chick, Duck, and Bunny. If you've not seen these, every single page has a great touchy-feely feature. They're board books. They can go in little one's mouths. It has dark outlines for babies. Definitely check out those three. They'd be adorable. Readers, beginning readers. We've got young beginner reference here with baby animals and eggs and chicks is like for ages four on up. A great nonfiction title with pictures. Your early readers can be confident reading these books out loud to themselves because there's not a lot of words to overwhelm them and they can do it confidently. All right, baby's first Easter. How cute would this clock book be? You can see the pages there. The tail's a squeaker and the ears are crinkly. So cute. I have a little one this year and she's definitely getting that in her basket. All right, the egg hunt. You gotta love the egg hunt. This is a little flat book where you are hunting for the egg. You can see it there in the hen house. Every single page will have a flap for you to find that egg hidden so you can practice with your little ones for the big day. Are you there, little bunny? This sweet book has finger trails little peek throughs as you're looking for bunny like it looks like bunny there but is it bunny you turn the page and oh no it's a butterfly the whole book you're trying to find bunny and at the end he does come out all right has anyone seen the farmyard tales i have got some new treasures for you this is the story of poppy and sam it's a collection of 20 different stories about their life on a farm with all their animals and it comes with a cd it's also a dual reader ask your consultant more about that but we now have did you hear that? A sound book of Poppy and Sam. It's gonna go through all their favorite characters and there's a button on every single page for you to hear the different animals and maybe the tractor starting. This one's my favorite because it has touchy feelies, flaps, and is a hide and seek book. And it's got great, like check these thistles out. They're so rough. Your kids are going to love um, exploring with this book. I can't get this flap open, but there's a sheep even hidden there behind that flap. We also have another little Poppy and Sam that's got finger and trails as they are going on their Easter egg hunt looking for those eggs and they find their basket there at the end. Okay, maybe you're traveling or maybe you need to entertain your kids. We've got some activity books. This is our magic painting. You simply dip the brush in water. No mess, no paint involved, but the colors will magically appear on the page. Maybe they can even give some of these away as gifts at Easter for their grandparents or friends. We've got a sticker book. Maybe if you're driving somewhere to Grandma's house for Easter, this would be a great one to bring in the car or through all those church functions that we have our little ones sitting through. Now, I want to bring this one to church, but what a fun activity this would be. It's got painting for your little fingerprints to go inside and it's a, quite a keepsake because their little fingerprints are making all the designs on all the pages and you can save it and remember those little fingerprints. Okay, my last idea for you because we love Easter bunnies and we love you know all the stuffed animals that our kids get but there are a lot of them. So I've got some alternatives for you this year. This is Al comes with a really cute interactive picture book. This one is engaging and funny. You get, it'll give your kids ideas like draw the moon with your finger. There's a page that they're going to flap. Oh, and little cute half pages. But they're gonna flap one of the pages to make Al look like he's actually flying and taking off. Such a fun one. Cordelia's a girl that can fly. If you wanna give your kids inspiration in this beautiful picture book to tell them that they can do anything just like Cordelia, check this one out. So there you have it, my ideas for your Easter baskets. Which one are you gonna have for your kids this year? Tell us in the comments or ask your consultant for more ideas if you have older readers or want to see something different in your kids' baskets this year.